In today's video, I will show you a very nifty website that can send ebooks to your ebook readers. It can send to both Kobo devices and Kindle devices totally wirelessly. On a Kindle, you don't need this service because you can already now from Amazon's services already send books wirelessly using your email address from your Kindle account or you can use Calibre software to send books wirelessly to your Kindle. But you can't do that on a Kobo device. You can do that on a Kobo ebook reader but then you need to install co-reader software. And if you don't want that you can use this service that I will show you today instead. So first we will go to my table cam to see my Kobo device and also my iPhone. Here we have the table cam and here we have my Kobo Claro 2e and my iPhone. Uh, so the Kobo Claro 2e here, we have the normal standard software at the moment, no co-reader software started but here we have that and here on the iPhone we have the service available that I am talking about as you can see it is sent to Kobo Kindle and you see the ebook formats they support EPUB, MOBI, PDF, TXT, CBZ, CBR but if you send to a Kobo ebook reader, it will use the Kebub file service to convert the ePub file to Kepub to be able to use Kepub on your Kobo device. But if you send to a Kindle, it will use a Mobi format and that is not good. So if you have a Kindle device, I highly recommend you to use uh, Amazon's own services to send books wirelessly. I have videos on my channel too on how to do that. Because the Mobi format is not supported anymore by Amazon, they say that we should use EPUB now. So Mobi should not be used. It's an old format that should not be used. So this service you can use directly from a um, smartphone. Just go to sendjazz.se send.jazz.se to have this web page open on your device. But we will in this video actually use a computer instead. So let's go to my desktop and then go to the website. Here we have the website again. As you see, send to Kobo, Kindle. And down here you see some instructions. You should go to this page on your Kobo or Kindle e-reader using the built-in uh, web browser on your ebook reader. And then you will see a unique key. And you should enter that in the form up here, as you see. You should enter that unique key here. And after that, an ebook upload download link will show up when you upload an ebook. If you send an ebook file to a Kindle, it will be converted to Mobi, and we don't want that. If you send a Mobi file to a Kindle, it, it will be unprocessed. We don't use Mobi files anymore, sadly. If you send an ePub file and tick the key Pubify checkbox, it will be converted into a Kobo ePub using key Pubify. If you send a Mobi file to a Kobo, it will not be converted. Once again, don't use Mobi. Your ebook will be stored on the server as long as your Kobo Kindle is viewing the unique key and is connected to Wi-Fi. It will be deleted immediately after 30 seconds after you close the web browser. You need to generate a new key or disable Wi-Fi on your e-reader to do this again. But using this tool, you agree that the ebook you upload is processed on the server and stored for a short time. So that is a drawback. This is uh, not so good for your privacy. Uh, you can't be sure that uh, the people that runs this server will see your file and even maybe copy the file during these few seconds that it's available on the server. 
So you need to uh, trust this service to use it if you don't want them to steal your books, for example. Uh, but this is a source code on GitHub, so you can check out the source code yourself to see if it's safe and so on. I have used this um, just a few times to see how the service works, so I don't use this because I run CoReader on my Kobo and can transfer wirelessly using CoReader instead. But um, I will show you now. So now go back to my table cam to show you that that's unique code on my Kobo device. So to be able to see your unique key, you need to use the built-in web browser on your Kobo Air Reader or your Kindle ebook reader have a web browser too. But uh, as I said, we will in this video use a Kobo. But you do the same on your Kindle, so no difference there. You go to where your web browser is on your ebook reader. On a Kobo, you have a button called More. And here we go into beta features. And here we find the web browser. Click Start. Now it scans for my Wi-Fi networks that I have in my home. And after that, it will start the web browser like this. And I have already added the website we are talking about in my favorites. So we go to my favorites. And here we have it, as you can see, send.jazz.se. So I click on that. And as you can see, here we have that unique code that you should put into your web browser on the device you want to send the file from. It could be on your iPhone, as I showed you before. It could also be on your computer. And if in this example, we will use the computer. So now we go. Uh, I will remember that code now, but now we will go into my desktop again. So let's start the desktop cam. And here we go to the web browser again. And here you should put in that code that we got. Like so. Now I can choose a file. Here we have a book without DRM that I own. And then we click upload. As you see here, the file size and so on. Now if I click upload and send, it says upload successful ebook was converted with Kipubify and sent to a Kobo device. So that is how easy it is. Now we go back to my Kobo device to see the file itself. We go back to the table cam. And as the text says on the web service that we use is that this uh, code will be visible as long we have the web page open. So I recommend you to close this web page now because uh, as long as you have this open, the file is on the server itself. But uh, before you do that, of course, you need to download the file. So here you see the file that you can download. So if I click on this, it says, would you like to download network effect? Then I click continue. Now we have downloaded that book to my Kobo Air Reader. Click close. And now, as I said, close this web page. So now uh, the file is deleted from the server and the code is not available anymore. You can't use that unique code anymore. So now if you go to home, we will see that book shows up there. As you see, the book that I sent with this service totally wireless. 
So now when I open this, you can read the book as usual. We can go to uh, a specific chapter to see better like this. So now I can read this book perfectly fine and it's transferred wirelessly to your Kobo device. So that is very easy to do as you saw there. Just go to a website, see the unique code on your Kobo ebook reader and put that code into the website on the device you want to send the file from. It could be a smartphone, it could be a computer, web browser. After that, upload the book via that device web browser. And then on your Kobo book reader, you go to the web browser again. And there you will see a download link. And you just click download and then close the web page. And then you st start reading. The book is available on your device again. That is how easy it is. So a very useful web service actually and it's totally free and as if you can trust the people behind this service then you can use this as much as you want how many files you want to transfer you can do this daily if you want totally wirelessly from a computer or a smartphone to your ebook reader it's very easy to do and uh, as you saw there, it's, uh, it works flawlessly and very fast too. You get a lot fast download speeds and upload speeds, speeds using this service. So I can highly recommend this web page website and I will have a link down below in the description text to this website so you can use it yourself from a computer on your ebook reader uh, web browser and as i said it works on both kindle and kobo but on a kindle you don't need it because if you want to transfer files wirelessly on a kindle it's better to use your secret email address and send it via that because then the books will be in total sync with all your kindle devices and also in sync with your uh, smartphones running the Kindle app for example or a tablet running a Kindle app so uh, if you have a Kindle I recommend you to use Kindle's own services to send files wirelessly and also if you use this for a Kindle it uses the Mobi format and you should not use that I have a video on my site on my YouTube channel uh, where I explain why you should not use Mobi anymore. So you go check that out. So this service is more or less for Kobo ebook reader nowadays because you don't use it for a Kindle ebook reader anymore. But uh, that's it for this video. Please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.